At this time, it's my honor to welcome our brother, Israeli-born entrepreneur, Amir Epstein. Everybody else got a special treatment. Okay. First of all, thank you for having me, Majid. You said I was a panelist. A panelist is somebody who sits on the stage and has a conversation, not somebody who has a speech prepared. So I don't have a speech, I'm, that's okay, I'll speak from my heart. Um, should I show everybody the flyer? Okay, you're cutting into my time. You've had enough of yours. It's my time now, Majed, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be here, especially because um, one of the, the main things that I do, my name is Amir Epstein, I'll start with that, uh, the exec, executive, thank you, executive director of Tough Seek organization, uh, thank you. So, at first I thought I was the only Jewish person who's going to be speaking, uh, according to the flyer, but it's good to be in the company of the incredible Edith Amir. Is the Consulate General of Israel, and of course, Michael Kersner, who had to go home. Um, so I'm going to start with telling you the moment in my life that um, hit me hard. The first time, really, was um, September 11th. You know, I remember that day so clearly. It was, a, it was a horrible year leading towards September 11th. I lost my mom uh, breast cancer, and I was 24. And I was just kind of existing. And then September 11th happened, my best friend called me, he's like, did you see what happened? The planes flew into the towers. And I was like, oh, I don't care. What are you talking about? What does that mean? And I hung up the phone. I used to sleep till 12 o'clock back then. Um, and so he called again and said, no, 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 you need to turn on the news. And I remember seeing him being so floored and just looking at this and thinking, I just couldn't compute what I was watching. What I was seeing, what I was experiencing and feeling. And that was kind of the first time I really started thinking about what kind of hatred can anybody have that would lead them to fly a plane with themselves inside into a building just to kill as many people as they can. That was the first time I experienced really how to deep thought about this going, this is, this is, this is a sickness. This isn't just, you know, I'm angry today, let me get a coffee. This is something that's been ingrained into people's minds. The second moment in my life that changed everything um, was October 7th. And I remember feeling the same surrealness um, when I learned what was happening. I didn't really understand was a terror attack in Israel, and I'm like, uh, that's every single day, we know, we, we know there's terror attacks in Israel every single day, no, no, this is different, this is different. Why? Well, they came in, well, they always come in, that's what they do, they stab anyone they can, and they drive their cars into anyone they can, they don't care if you're a politician, if you're a police officer, if you're a soldier, if you're a Jew, maybe you're not even a Jew, if you're just somebody in Israel, you deserve to die, but this was different. <laughs> the disease that is Islamism, and let it, please understand the difference between an Islamist and a Muslim. A lot of people don't know that there's a difference. There's a humongous difference. A Muslim is somebody who understands and practices Islam. An Islamist is an extremist ideology. And they're open about what their desire is, which is to kill everything. It's not just kill the Jews. They make it very clear it's to kill the Jews and the Christians and anyone who doesn't believe what we believe. So much so that they killed Muslims. ISIS killed Muslim people. ISIS didn't kill Jews. They slaughtered tens of thousands of Muslim people. They slaughtered countless Yazidis. This is a disease 
that is now infecting Canada. We're not playing games anymore. You know, I, I've never, I hear myself speak sometimes and I think, if this, if this 10 years ago, I'd be like, oh, that guy's a conspiracy theorist. I'm not. They make it very clear what their intentions are. They say to us every single day what they want to do. And yet Canadians say, well, no, it's, you know, it's communism. And this partnership between these communists that, and the socialists, fascists, with the Islamists is a joke. It's a joke because the people from that one side and the people from the other, those are natural enemies. Yet the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus, we are natural allies. Everybody that's here today is brave enough to show up because they understand the importance of working together, fighting together, standing together. And that's one of the main reasons why I started to seek. I walked away from my entire business. It's kaput, as they say. And the reason is the community is more important. Canada is more important. And my kids' future is a lot more important. And I've been blessed, I've been blessed to meet so many of you here, all my newest friends. My wife says it's like another life I have that she doesn't know about. I promised her, don't worry, nothing to be jealous of. They're all just as crazy as me. And it's been great to be able to meet with every in the community. Salman Singh is not here, I'm going to give him shit later. But he said he was going to be here, you know Salman Singh. They know Rob uh, Boardman. All of them are really close allies. And the thing that we do together the best is understand each other's values and morals, understand each other's connection. At first I thought the importance of building allies has to depend on us having a, the same uh, you know, villain, if you will, the same enemy. And I realized it's not. It's actually having the same morals and values. Everybody in this room just wants to live in Canada freely pray in your church or synagogue or temple without somebody telling you they're going to kill you in the middle of the night because you're doing it wrong. That's all we want. We're not asking for any special treatment. We just want to be left alone. And if we don't stand up together, if we don't build our connections and our relationships, we are all doomed. So thank you everybody for listening to me speak. I hope I didn't depress you. I think now we're going to do some lighting of the candles. Is that right, Majab? <laughs> okay. He still doesn't believe that he said I was going to be a panelist. Do you have a screen? No, 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 no. Just look, look at this. Look at this. That's my messages. That's my messages. And after the guest speaker, if you click in the thingy, uh, by the way, you cursed in the church, by the way. Thank because you very much. I didn't curse. You said shit in the church. You just swore in the church. <laughs> and, and when you look. I said shirt, shirt. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, wait, keynote speaker. Where is the Thank panelist? You, yes. you're right. you're all people there. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>